how to create these two modern looking beautiful charts here in Excel. The first chart that I have here is a dark mode, a black version with this black background. And the second chart that I have here, and we're gonna make it step by step, is this light version with this white background. We're gonna do the both charts step by step from scratch. And it's not an area chart or a line chart, it's a combo chart. Combo chart in Excel is when you combine two or more charts into just one. So here, for example, yes, I have a line chart here above the chart, this yellow chart here is a line chart, and of course I have here down below, underneath the line, a area chart. However, because I combine these two charts into just one, it's called a combo chart. So every time you just combine two or more charts into just one, it's called a combo chart in Excel. The first thing you need to have to build any type of chart in Excel is to have a data set. No matter if your data set is larger or whatever, different than mine, the important thing is to have a data set. Here I have uh, the first column with, with the category, where I have the months, January, February, March, and so on. And in this first, the second column here, I have the values. So let's start with creating the a simple chart. So let me just select the first column, and then I'm gonna press and hold Control key. And then I'm gonna select the second column. Now I go here to the insert tab and I'm gonna select a chart to use. So let's say I want to use here a line chart or even an area chart. Let me just select this area chart here. Now with this area chart here, I need to add the line chart just above the area chart to make this cool and modern looking uh, effect in the chart. So let me just select only the values column again, so I want to select all this column again, Control C, and then I'm gonna select the chart, Control V. That way I just duplicated the area chart. However, I don't need to use two area charts into just one, it makes no sense. However, let me just click with the right click here in the chart, and then I go to Chain Chart Type. Here, in this last option, we have the combo chart when you can combine, where you can combine both charts. So let's say line and columns, for example. However, instead of just using columns, I want to use uh, area. So let me just select here, area. Okay, one series is gonna be area and another one is gonna be line. Let me just click here in okay. And our chart is pretty much similar to this one that I have here down below, okay? So let me just now, uh, move these values that I have here in the left to the top of the chart because that way it's uh, pretty much easy to see the values, to see the results in each one of the months that I have each one of the categories. But before we do it, let's just decrease a little bit this area in this chart because look, my maximum value here is 200,000, okay, it's acceptable. However, my minimum value that I have here is zero. It's make no sense because I can, let's say, move on the minimum value to uh, 120, 100,000, let's say. And this way I can just increase a little bit, uh, save space here in my chart. So let me just double click here in this value in the left corner of the chart. And here with this pop out that is gonna appear for me, I'm gonna change the minimum value to, let's say, uh, uh, 100, 120,000. Okay, now we're gonna press enter, and that way we can save a little bit of space. We can move it, move on with a little bit further. So let's say instead of just using 120,000, I can change it to 130,000. Enter, okay, let me close it. Yeah, now I think it's good, and I can just select these values, delete it. I can select these lines in the background and delete it too. And now I need to add the values just here above the line because without any values, uh, it makes no sense to use a chart because you can see how much the January is, how much the February is, how much the March is. So let me just select only the line, okay? Just the line. And then I go here to chart design, add chart element. And here in data label, I'm gonna select the above option. Okay, now I already have these values in this screen. And if you want to change, let's say, the formatting of these numbers, like I did here before, 
we can just double click it here in the value and then one two okay double click it and with this pop-out that is gonna appear for you in the right let's say in the last option here I can change the category instead of using general I can change it to let's say currency and instead of using decimal places two decimal places I can use none and I also can change the formatting because look there are many numbers here that are overlapping each one overlaying let me just instead of using this format code here I can use the dollar sign the pound sign comma and K now we're gonna press here add and then I can close here this pop-out and okay now we have uh, the similar result here in the format okay not similar but equal now let's just move on to the design of the chart itself one thing that I want to do here is just to let's say select all the chart and go here to format uh, shape outline no outline and shape view no view that way we can just make this the chart transparent and we can see through it it's like a, a glass we're gonna create the background of course with these round corners here however we need to do it uh, with another shapes here in Excel so let me just put this chart right here just to the right of this another chart let me just uh, adjust here the, the, the size okay now one thing that I want to do here is just to select the line if the double click it want you now with the pop-out that's gonna be for me I'm gonna select the first option here the color and I want to select the gradient line and instead of just using these these predefined patterns that Excel gave it to me I need to just delete everything and uh, just stay with these two gradient stops the first one I'm gonna move all to the, the left and they're gonna paint it with this yellow color right here and the another one I'm gonna just paint it with this uh, other yellow color here okay now let's see okay it's good and one thing I can do here is just to increase the width let's put it in on three okay and another step that I can do is to smooth the line just check the option that way you can have uh, of course a really much more smooth the line instead of just have this charpet corners we can have a smooth one okay it's good now let me click here in the area of the chart uh, in border I'm gonna select no line in fill I'm gonna select gradient fill and in one end this left end here I'm gonna select let's say this dark blue color here and in another one I want to select this just the blue look the effect that we have however instead of just using uh, the blue in the top the dark blue in the top and the light blue in the in the bottom area here I just want to change it and use the dark blue to the right and the in the light one to the left so we need to change here the angle let's put it in 108 for example okay it's good now I can just close it or before we just close it let me just change this the brightness of this blue here in the in the right let me decrease a little bit let's say minus 35 for example okay I think it's good now and I can close this window one thing that I can do here is select the entire chart click here in home and change the, the text format or the text design layout let me just put it in bold and change the color font for the white okay now we pretty much can't see anything here uh, in the values and the text however let me just click here insert and let's move on to the background shapes I want to use a uh, rectangle with rounded corners so I want to select I just need to put this rectangle here in the area of the chart and I can make it rounder or I can make it sharper let me do like this for example and for the background I can just click with the right click go to format shape and here I can select no line and in fill I want to use the gradient fill instead of using blue I'm gonna use black for the both ends so instead of just using two equal blacks one I'm gonna just use in white to see where is the my gradient however instead of using the direction the linear type I'm gonna use radial and this option here in the middle from center okay 
Now the white color, the white one, I'm going to change it for black and I'm going to use a 15 for the brightness or I can use 18 for example, 70, 16 is good. Let me just select here the second option, effects, shadow and select here this first option. For the transparency, I'm going to change it for 35. The blur, I'm going to use 2 and the distance, I'm going to use 5, let's say. I can close it. How can I move now the background to behind the chart? How can I move it back? So I just need to click with the right click and then I'm going to select the option send to back. Okay, now we have done with your chart. However, there is one more simple and important step to do. With the background selected, I'm going to press and hold the control key and then select the chart itself. I'm going to click here shape format and then ally, ally in the middle. And again, ally in the center. And then I'm going to cl click here in group. Group again. Okay. Just to join these two objects. And whenever you just click, hold and move your chart, everything is going to come together. So this is why it's important to ally everyone in the middle, in the center, and then group everyone. Okay. Our first chart is pretty much done. Now we can move on to the second option here, this light version. And this light version here is much easier to do because we already made the first one. And the, the only thing here that is going to change is the background color and the text color. So it's pretty much easy to do. Let me just select the chart that we just made. Uh, Ctrl C. I'm going to click here in an empty cell. Ctrl V. Okay. Now we just duplicated the chart. Instead of doing it uh, all again, we just duplicate it. And I'm going to select the chart, shape, format, group, ungroup. Now I just need to move apart these two things here. And the first thing I'm going to do here is select the chart itself, click here, here in home and change the text color to white. Oh, sorry, not for white, but to black. Okay. Now we're done with the chart and for the background, I can select right click, format, shape. And instead of using the black color, I can change for white for example, uh, the left end and the right end I can just change it for a light gray for example. So let me just change the brightness to minus 15 is good, okay? I can close it and now I need to just align the chart with this background. So select the background, clicking the control key, hold and then select the chart itself. Clicking shape format, align, align center, align in the middle group group okay now we're done with this two excel charts and despite this negligible difference in the background of the chart that i just made here and the chart that i was made before i hope we can enjoy this video and if you have any questions just comment down below that i'm gonna help you out and i see you in the next one as every day has a new video i see you there